Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will show you how to set up social media in Avada. Social media isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and today we're going to look at the multiple ways you can integrate social media into your Avada website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Okay, let's begin. When it comes to your Avada website, there are basically three ways to incorporate social media. You can share your own social media links, you can display your social feeds directly on the site, and you can allow users to share your content on your choice of social media channels. Let's start with sharing your own social links. The predominant places to share your social media links on your site are in the header and the footer, but of course you can add them wherever you want. I'm on the Handyman pre-built site here, and as we can see, there are social links added to the header of this site. Our recommended way to add social links is to simply add them into a layout section using the social links element, as has been done here. With this method, you have the most flexibility of design and layout. Please see the linked social links element video for specific information on that element. As well, if you're not yet using Avada layouts, check out the Getting Started with Avada Layouts documentation, also linked below. You can still add your social media icons into a legacy header and footer through the global options from the social media tabs, but this legacy method is not recommended. Let's now quickly look at a couple of examples of social links on the pre-built sites. On the handyman site here, social links have also been added to the footer, but in this case they have been added in a creative way using the menu element. On the hotel and resort pre-built, which has a side header, we can see the social media icons are boxed and using brand colours whereas in the footer, they are unboxed and using custom colours. So as you can see, sharing your social media channels is flexible and easy, and with the social links element, you can place your social links anywhere you like. Let's now look at adding your social feeds into your website. These might be added into a column in a blog layout, or perhaps a footer, or even in the page somewhere. You can add them wherever you prefer. They can slow the loading time of the page, however, so consider that. In that way, you might not want to load these on your homepage. There are several elements that can display full social feeds. As we can see here, these are the Facebook page element, the Instagram element, and the X timeline element. Although if you see Flickr as social media, you can add the Flickr element to the list as well. They are all fully configurable and each have their own videos and docs, so please see the link docs below for more information on the specifics of each of these elements. Let's now look at the options for allowing your users to share your content to your choice of social media channels. And here, let's quickly head back to the global options and the last tab under social media. This is the social sharing tab. Here you set the global defaults for social sharing, both for the social sharing box and the social sharing element. The social sharing box by default is placed at the bottom of every blog or portfolio post when using legacy methods. And with Avada layouts, you use the social sharing element. This site is using Avada layouts. And so if I go to layouts, and edit the content layout section on the blog layout, this is where we would add the social sharing element. I'll just add it here under the content element. The social sharing element pulls the settings from the social sharing global options by default, but there is a full range of customization and design options to allow you to override the global defaults and fully customize your sharing box. Or in this case, as it's not being used elsewhere, I could just as easily change the global defaults. I might tie the text to color one, and the background to colour 4, and the icon to colour 1 as well. Yeah, that looks good. This sharing box will now be on every blog post. If we look at a couple of examples again, we can see the Avada Psychology site is using it in a customised way on their single post layout. As well, the Avada Classic Prebuilt site has a minimal version of it in this blog post sidebar. For full details on this element, please see the link below the video. There is also one other element that incorporates links to your social media profiles, so this is also worth a mention. The person element allows you to add a range of personalised social media links for each individual. So if you have a team that needs to share their individual profiles, this is perfect for that. You can completely configure each person's links and how they display, and add a large range of social media profiles as well, including pulling any custom social icons from the global options. Here you can see the social media icons under each team member. Okay, before we finish, there are a couple more global options that are relevant to social media, so let's finish the job. Let's start with a small one. If you show images in a lightbox, 
there's an option in the global options under Lightbox called Social Sharing, which displays a social sharing box on the images when they're opened in the Lightbox. This option pulls the social sharing icons and links that are set in the social sharing tab. If I head to the Extras Miscellaneous tab and scroll down, there are a couple of relevant options here as well. The Add No Follow to Social Links option, if enabled, simply tells the search engines not to follow the social links. And under that, there is an option to open social icons in a new window. This is generally a good idea, as it's a convention in web design that if you link to an external site, you do it in a new tab. So when your visitors close that link, they're still on your site. And under Advanced Features, we can find an option to enable or disable Open Graph meta tags. These tell social sites how to share your content, but as the description says, some SEO plugins like Yoast SEO or Rank Math add their own implementation of this. So either disable the option in the plugin or disable it here to avoid duplicate tags. If you have WooCommerce or the Events Calendar installed, you will also see options for turning on social icons on single product pages and displaying the social sharing box on single event pages. Finally, on the Avada page options, we can find the SEO tab, which allows you to set the open graph data for each page or post. See the how to set images used for sharing on social networks in Avada video for more information on that. All right, that should do it. Thanks for watching. This should give you a good overview of how to both share your social channels on your website and also allow others to share your content on their social media channels. Let us know in the comments how you have integrated social media on your Avada site. This concludes our video on how to set up social media options in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.